In this lesson, we'll discuss how to find the eigenvalues of a matrix raised to a power. The question reads, find the eigenvalues and bases for the eigenspace of the matrix A raised to the power of 5, where it is a 2 by 2 matrix. And underneath the hint is, you may use the fact that the eigenvalues of A are negative 1 and 2. That will come in handy because the first thing that I want to do is find the eigenvectors. And we can only find the eigenvectors by solving this equation. Let's say we have the matrix A minus lambda times the identity. And the identity matrix is the diagonal matrix with ones on the main diagonal. Multiply to a vector which we'll call x is equal to 0. So if I take matrix A and I rewrite it, and I subtract it by lambda times this matrix, its identity, I'll end up with negative 4 minus lambda. This element will be negative 3. This element will stay as 6 because it's 6 minus lambda times 0, which is technically 0. And this last one will be 5 minus lambda. For the eigenvalue of negative 1, I'll now substitute that value into here. And if I do that correctly, I should end up with negative 3, negative 3, 6, and positive 6. Don't forget that we have zeros out here, so I'll just place them here. And I will row reduce this matrix as much as possible. To do that, I'll multiply row 1 by 2 and add it to the bottom row, row 2. And this will represent my brand new row 2. So think about it for a second. I'm multiplying negative 3 by 2. I get negative 6. And adding it to 6, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. That's my new element in row 2. That stays the same. That stays the same. And we have 0 over here. Obviously, this number and this number are the same. So I should get 0 and 0. And if I divide every element in row 1 by negative 3, so row 1 divided by 3, and don't forget that's negative, that becomes 1, 1, and 0. The first column has a leading 1, but the second column, you see this column right here? Forget that negative 3. The second column does not have a leading 1. So I'll set the second column, which I'll call x sub 2, as a parameter t. And by setting it as a parameter t, the first row is the equation x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to 0. I'll replace x sub 2 with what I set it as. And I'll solve for x sub 1. I get negative t. This means that my eigenvector is the following. It will be a column vector. x sub 1 is negative 1. Think of it as the coefficient of this. And for x sub 2, it's 1. I have to redo this process for lambda when it is 2. If I do that correctly, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip this process because I'm assuming that you already know how to do this. If I redo this process for 2, so I'll write down lambda positive 2, I should end up with the eigenvector negative 1 over 2 and 1. Multiplying the first and the second row by 2 gives me negative 1, 2. This will serve as my eigenvector for the eigenvalue of 2. Now to find the eigenvalues when we raise a to the power of 5, what you do in this case is you take negative 1 and 2 and also raise them to the power of 5. By raising them to the power of 5, this becomes negative 1, and that becomes 32. So the eigenvalues of a to the power of 5 are negative 1 and 32, and the eigenvectors of a to the power of 5 are the ones that we found, namely this one and this one. So this one is when we have negative 1, and this one is when we have 32 as our eigenvalue. And there you have it. 
That is how to find the eigenvalues of a matrix raised to a power.